M0FXB Yesu FTX1 APRS messaging. Now it's been working fine. You can see it there live. Look at all that data that we're getting there. From, oh, it vanished quick, but that was a weather station. So 144800, the settings within this hold the function. Go to APRS here, so go forward and back until you see all the APRS settings there. Tap APRS, and the first one, click done. And I'll just show you what I've got in here at the moment. So in the general tab, I've got uh, main, so it's using the right hand side, the main, 1200 BPS. APRS mute is off, that's why we can hear everything. And then call sign, tap it, M0 FX speed dash five and then APY, whatever that is, that was the default. And then template, I've put a couple in there. You literally just tap it and type the message. Symbol, I've selected bicycle and Digipath, I've selected wide one, wide two. So that's pretty much it really. You do need to turn on your, your modem. You need to make sure that's on. But when you select the 1200, it's on and it says here A12 for 1200. So it's been working great. And that little message on screen is telling me that it's received a message. Let me just resend it. So we're going to go message list here and we'll go to me and we're going to go reply. Now to put a text in the top here, you actually have to press, uh, you actually, as far as I can see, you actually have to press the function button. Let's just do it. So we'll tap here, no, and then function. And look, it gives you the opportunity. You can delete it and change it. Let's just put, add a two there. So if we go forward. And we're going to go to enter. And then we're going to go message TX. Watch the, this is a VGC N76. I'll show you the, how to, you know, do APRS as well. I mean, the main thing in the UK, it's 144800 uh, and USA 144900. You'll see that this radio also is controlled by an app. And I'll show you that. It's a very cool app. I, I, I really rate these VG6, VGC N76 and the N7500. The new N7600 is out soon, which is similar to the N7500. Basically the 50 watt model, but it's a VHF, UHF, GPS, APRS and Bluetooth. Fantastic device, I think. Fantas excellent value. But anyway, message TX. And that should, well, last time it appeared on the screen... Let's try, let's go menu, back out completely. And we'll turn it down. Menu, signaling, send message. Then we just go, hey, oh, we'll just put some numbers in and some random. Four, five, there you are, four JN, click OK. And it didn't send it. Another weather station just came through with the location and just sent out a message again. Okay, now it, I just did it again. M0 FXB5, it's receiving loads. And so we just select and there's the screen. There's the message Ham Tech 2. So it did do it. I don't think it's because it was receiving so many other things. So the APRS settings in the VGC, just go menu, uh, go down to signaling. And then go to call, and then you put in your call sign here, M0FXB. You just type it with like a phone phone call. Go down to general, APRS. There's my call, path, Y2, select it. You can choose the one you want. I've got Y2 at the moment, and that worked. Now, if you go to DigiPeter and all that, that's more complicated, more learning. And the password, what you do, you've got an APRS password. You put it in there. When it's correct, it does check it. And you'll see that it's coming through all here on this map as well. But when you check it, um, it will say correct. And look, another message there coming in as well. Because it looks like the, the FTX one is auto-sending. So we just go into press and hold the function. Go to message list. And look, you've got the different ones coming in there. Let's scroll down. And it's been, you know, I've been here for half an hour doing this. So if we go to MB7 and text there, let's just go 
reply. Again, function. And I'm going to go hi space m zero f x b enter and then we reply to him. So I picked it up there as well. That's okay. Well, kiss TNC on here on these as well. Let's go back. What else is on here when we press and hold the function? Station list. Look at all these. Let's give a reply again. Reply again, function. I'm just going to go high for now. And then message TX. Press and hold. If it's already received the station, it doesn't pop up. So you can, I think we need to clear them. So if we just delete the couple. I haven't worked out how to delete all yet. Is there a clear delete? A few people there. Let's delete another one. Let's see if we get a nice big pop up. Just while we wait, look, you've got APRS here, beacon. When you turn it on, look, it comes on here. That's a manual TX station list. We've already looked at that. Let's just tap one anyway. And when you're on the list, look, you can sort of scroll through them with the function. Ah, there's TX clear. Anyway, go back. Press and hold. Of course, read the manual. I'm tinkering. Squelch, message list, station list. Well, we've looked at everything, really. So thank you very much. And, uh, it, you know, I think it's working. It's, it's slightly buggy. A couple of times I've had to reboot it. Um, it. It's definitely working. I mean, when you get the pop-up, it takes up the whole screen. Let's go back. Let's go dual receive a minute. Dual receive. We've got GB3WR there. I'm just interested to know how it works when it's dual receive. So dual receive, as you can see. Yeah, and in dual receive, it got a pop-up and it transmitted, look. I'm just about to send a, just do A. See the way here, you've got the dual band, look. If you look at the radio, Look at that, where it's dual receive, and as I go like so, and you can swipe from the left, you can actually, I can look, look at the radio here, I can actually change bands, dual, I can go single channel if I want, look, single receive there, look, change channels, it's so good, it's just, I've always loved this, the way this, these VR N76 work, let's go back to APRS, single receive now. And of course, you can send messages just using this, just using the app. The app's called HT. On the iPhone, it's called HT, but there's a B and an S in front of it. So you search on your iPhone, BSHT. And that there are firmware updates, you, you know, if you want to know, go down and look for, I don't know, actually go settings, settings, then go to firmware. And I'm running 8.4. And it says there's no updates, but I bet you if I tap 10 times, oh, no, it didn't do it this time. It's, normally you can get the beta version and there's a lot more weather stations coming through. So yeah, very happy with that. And uh, loads of learning on both these devices. These for 120, 130 pound, these VGC, the amount that they do, but that, you know, it's easier to click 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 and you've got this in a box on the table 120 130 pounds but to actually know how to use it takes will take you 
50 hours of hard work learning how to use it, how to use the app, how to use it with just the radio. And that's another thing. I would say exactly the same thing about the the FTX1 or the 705. Yeah, which is such complicated radios that um, that they're so complicated that you have to put the hard work in because click, click, click and buying them. And even if you spread it out over a couple of years, 20 quid, a, you know, 50 quid a month, all that kind of stuff. Anyone can do that, yeah? Um, but knowing how to use it and learning how to use it is going to take hard work. Bye for now, 73.